హలో డియర్ చాంపియన్స్ ఎలా ఉన్నారు ఈ మధ్యన చాలామంది స్టూడెంట్స్ నాకు ఫోన్ చేస్తున్నారు ముఖ్యంగా టెన్త్ క్లాస్కి వచ్చిన వాళ్ళు కొత్త టెక్స్ట్ బుక్లు చూసి ఆ సిలబస్ చూసి ఆ లెసన్స్ చూసి అవేమి అర్థం కాక చాలా కన్ఫ్యూజ్ అవుతూ భయంగా నాకు ఫోన్ చేస్తున్నారు చాలా టెన్షన్ పడుతున్నారు డోంట్ వరీ నాన్న టెక్స్ట్ బుక్స్ మారినాయి కాబట్టి ఆ లెసన్స్ కొత్తగా అనిపిస్తున్నాయి కాబట్టి కొద్దిగా మీకు ఇబ్బంది అనిపించవచ్చు కానీ రేపొద్దున నా టీచర్స్ లెసన్ చెప్పడం స్టార్ట్ చేసిన తర్వాత ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ మీకు అర్థమైపోయిన తర్వాత మీరు ఓన్ చేసుకుంటారు చక్కగా ఈజీగా అర్థం చేసుకుంటారు మ్యాక్సిమం స్కోర్ చేస్తారు కాబట్టి ఎటువంటి టెన్షన్ పడద్దు ఓకే మరి నా తరఫున నేనేం చేస్తున్నానంటే ఈ లెసన్స్లో ఎవ్రీ పేజీ తీసుకుని ఆ పేజీలో ఏ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఉంది వాటిలోంచి ఏ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఎలా అడగవచ్చు నేను గెస్ చేస్తూ పాత మోడల్స్ తీసుకుని ఆ విధంగా నోట్స్ని ప్రిపేర్ ప్రిపేర్ చేస్తున్నాను ఆ నోట్స్ని మనం యూట్యూబ్లో అప్లోడ్ చేస్తున్నాను వీడియోల రూపంలో కాబట్టి మీరు చక్కగా ఆ వీడియోస్ చూస్తూ నోట్స్ రాసుకుంటూ మీ డౌట్ వచ్చిన ప్రతి క్వశ్చన్కి ఇందులో ఆన్సర్ వెతుక్కుంటూ చక్కగా వందకు వంద శాతం మార్క్స్ని ఈజీగా మీరు స్కోర్ చేయొచ్చు కాబట్టి టెన్షన్ పడకుండా హ్యాపీగా చదువుకోండి అలాగే ఈ వీడియోస్ని మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ తోటి క్లాస్మేట్స్ తోటి షేర్ చేసుకోండి వాళ్ళకు కూడా హెల్ప్ అవుతుంది ఓకే థ్యాంక్ వెరీ మచ్ లల్లా లల్లా everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs provided it is technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable can be termed as resource the process of transformation of things available in our environment involves an interactive relationship between nature technology and institutions human beings interact with nature through technology and create institutions to accelerate their economic development Do you think that resources are free gifts of nature as is assumed by many? They are not. Resources are a function of human activities. Human beings themselves are essential components of resources. They transform material available in our environment into resources and use them. These resources can be classified in the following ways. A on the basis of origin biotic and abiotic b on the basis of exhaustibility renewable and non-renewable c on the basis of ownership individual community national and international d on the basis of status of development potential developed stock and reserves classification of resources interdependent relationship between nature technology and institutions questions from first page of the lesson What do you understand by resource? Answer: Everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs, provided it is technologically accessible, economically feasible, and culturally acceptable, can be termed as resource. explain the interdependent relationship between nature technology and institutions answer the process of transformation of things available in our environment involves an interactive relationship between nature technology and institutions human beings interact with nature through technology and create institutions to accelerate their economic development Do you think that resources are free gifts of nature? Answer: No. The resources are not free gifts of nature. How do human beings interact with nature? Answer: 
human beings interact with nature through technology and create institutions to accelerate their economic development. What is meant by resource? Mention the four bases to classify the resources. Answer, 1, resource, everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs provided, it is technologically accessible, economically feasible, and culturally acceptable can be termed as resource. Two, four bases to classify resources are as mentioned below. A, on the basis of origin biotic and abiotic. B, on the basis of exhaustibility renewable and non-renewable. C, on the basis of ownership individual, community, national and international. D, on the basis of status of development, potential, developed stock and reserves. Classify resources on the basis of origin. Answer, resources classification on the basis of origin. 1. Biotic resources, all living organisms in our environment are known as biotic resources. Example, tree, animal, insects etc. 2. Abiotic resources, all non-living present in our environment are known as abiotic resources. Example, earth, air, water, metals, rocks etc. Resources on the basis of exhaustibility. Write examples. Answer. A. Renewable resources, the resources which can be renewed or reproduced by physical, chemical, or mechanical processes are known as renewable resources. For example, solar and wind energy, water, forests, and wildlife etc. b. Non-renewable resources, these occur over a very long geological time. Minerals natural and fossil fuels are examples of such resources. These resources take millions of years in their formation. For example, the resources like metals are recyclable and some like fossil fuels cannot be recycled and get exhausted with their use. Classify resources on the basis of ownership with example. Answer. A. Individual resources, these are owned privately by individuals. Many farmers own land which is allotted to them by government against the payment of revenue. People own plots, houses and other property etc. B. Community owned resources. There are resources which are accessible to all the members of the community. Village commons, public parks, burial ground, playground in urban areas are de facto accessible to all the people living there. C. National resources, all the resources belong to the nation. The country has legal power to acquire even private property for public good. We have seen roads, canals, railways being constructed on fields owned by some individuals. Urban development authorities get empowered by the government to acquire land. D. International resources, there are international institutions which regulate some resources. The oceanic resources beyond 200 kilometers of the exclusive economic zone belong to open ocean and no individual country can utilize these without the concurrence of international institutions. What is meant by resources? Mention the four bases to classify the resources. Answer. Resource everything that is available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs is called a resource. 
resources are technological accessible, economically feasible, and culturally acceptable. Examples are coal, minerals, forest, land, water, fossil fuels etc. Resources are classified as follows. On the basis of origin. Biotic, living resources like plants etc. B. Abiotic, non-living resources like solar energy, land etc. Two, on the basis of exhaustibility. A. Renewable, which can be recreated like solar energy etc. B. Non-renewable, which cannot be recreate like fossil fuels. Three, on the basis of ownership. A. Individual, personal owned by an individual person. B. Community owned by the whole community c national owned by a country d international accessed by all nations four on the basis of status of development a potential resources which are found in a region but have not been utilized b developed which are surveyed and quality and quantity shows the utilization c reserve, which can be used for meeting future requirements. D. Stock, which can be used due to the lack of appropriate technology to use these resource. Everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs, provided, it is technologically accessible, economically feasible, and culturally acceptable can be termed as resource. What is the definition of a resource? Answer. I. Everything available in the environment that can be used to satisfy needs. 2. It must be technologically accessible, economically feasible, and culturally acceptable. 3. Resources can be classified based on various factors. What are the criteria for something to be considered a resource? Answer. 1. The resource must be technologically accessible, meaning it can be used with available technology. 2. It must be economically feasible, meaning it can be utilized without excessive cost. 3. It should be culturally acceptable, meaning it aligns with the values and practices of the society. Can anything in the environment be considered a resource? Answer. Yes, anything in the environment that fulfills the criteria of being technologically accessible, economically feasible, and culturally acceptable can be termed as a resource. What factors determine whether something is classified as a resource? Answer. The classification of resources is based on various factors such as origin, exhaustibility, ownership, and status of development. What do you understand by international resources? Give example. Answer, 1. These resources are regulated by international institutions. Two. Examples are the oceanic resources beyond 200 kilometers of the exclusive economic zone belong to open ocean and no individual country can utilize there without the concurrence of international institutions. What are biotic and abiotic resources? Give two examples for each. Answer. I. Biotic resources, these are obtained from biosphere and have life such as human beings, flora and fauna, fisheries and livestock. 2. Abiotic resources, all those things which are composed of non-living things are called abiotic resources e.g., rocks and metals. Which one of the following type of 
Resource is iron ore? A. Renewable B. Biotic C. Flow D. Non-renewable. Answer. D. Non-renewable. Fourteen classify resources on the basis of Exhaustibility Answer, Renewable and Non-Renewable Resources Classify resources on the basis of Development Answer, Potential, Developed Stock and Reserves Give an example of biotic resources Answer, human beings, flora, and fauna are examples of biotic resources. What type of resources are solar and wind energy? Answer, solar and wind energy are renewable resources. Mention a non-renewable source that cannot be recycled and get exhausted with their use. Answer, fossil fuel. Resources that take long geological time for their formation are called Renewable resources B. Reserve C. Community resources D. Non-renewable resources Answer, D. Non-renewable How can the resources be classified on the basis of their origin? Biotic and abiotic. B. Individual and community. C. Potential and reserves. D. Renewable non renewable. Answer A. Biotic and abiotic. Which one of the following is a biotic resource? Land. B. Water. C human beings d rocks answer c human beings resources which are found in a region but have not been utilized are called a developed resources b stock c international resources d potential resources Answer, D. Potential resources.